Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you a very quick overview of this look and kind of my morning routine at the moment. This is a Saturday, so it's a very chill day and I'm just kind of putting on my everyday makeup. I've got a birthday party later on, but I'm not gonna dress up for it too much. So this is kind of the look I'm gonna have for the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So my hair is still sort of wet, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry a bit while I'm doing my makeup and everything. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use one of these super cool retro rollers that my mom always uses. And these are perfect for my fringe because not only do they help keep the curl, especially on a humid day like today, but it also really helps um, get my hair out of my face. It kind of works as like a little hair clip or something. So these are like sort of the velcro kind of material so my hair sticks to them. I don't need to pin them down which also helps just so that I don't have any kinks in my fringe. And then that's pretty much it. That's what I'll do. And that's me putting my hair out of my face as well. These are super cheap. I buy them in big packs. I have a green one as well. I actually have a green one here. Those are fun as well. And they're quite cheap from Amazon, so I'll link them down below. Um, and I honestly recommend them. I use these all the time. Also, if I can be bothered, I um, put these throughout all of my hair and leave my hair to dry like that. It takes a while longer. Um, I tend to blow dry my hair while it's like that and leave it for a few hours. So it's only if I am kind of like, just leaving my hair to dry while I'm getting ready for something or just hanging out. But um, but it does make your hair look really nice and really gives a lot of volume. So that's definitely something, maybe I'll do another video about that or something, but anyway. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just cleanse. I'm gonna use my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Um, this is the one for more sensitive skin, I think. And I've been using this since I was a teenager and I love it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have already, uh, clean my face in the shower. I mean, I used a Vichy um, face wash and usually that would kind of be enough, but I recently, I think just with this warm, humid weather, I've been getting quite a lot of spots and things like that. So I'm doing extra clarifying at the moment. So this, I'm just gonna rub around to get everything off. And then next I'm gonna go in with Clinique ID. So I use the Moisturizing Lotion Plus. So this is the thicker version of the Clinique ID of the moisturizer formulas that Clinique has. Um, this one's a little bit more hydrating and uh, I, it just works better for my skin because I can get quite dry skin. I also have the, um, the orange version of this, which is... I'm gonna have to double check what this one is. I think it's the brightening formula. Yeah, it is the brightening formula. So I'm just gonna rub this all over. It's, um, considering the fact that it's the thicker version of their regular lotion, it uh, spreads really well. And this has been my everyday lotion on and off again since I was a teenager as well. I've been using Clinique for years and years. So um, I know that my skin's not gonna react to this and it's just a really easy everyday product to use. It also sinks into your skin really well, so it works really well under uh, under makeup. So I'm trying to keep what I wear under my makeup really thin today because this weather is so muggy. So the next thing I'm going to do is the La Roche-Posay um, Anthelios Cream, which is the their SPF 30. This is um, a face liquid, so it's a super thin consistency. I've actually talked about this in another video. I love this product and it works really well with the Clinique moisturizer under my skin and I kind of just use these as my, my sort of primer for my makeup at the moment. Okay, so there are a couple concealers and things that I've been using at the moment. I'll talk through these really quickly, but the first one is um, the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So this is in their lighter shade. I think this comes in two shades and I just use the littlest bit of this on my pinky and then dab it on the inner part of my eye. And this, you can probably even see just from one side of my eye to the other, you can already see it brightening up. So I don't use too much of this because I find it can sort of crease a little, but it makes a huge difference in terms of, it just corrects as well as brightens. And so it makes me look so much more awake. I use this almost every day. And then I do have a couple little blemishes and red areas that I'm gonna use my 
Benefit Bling Hydrating Concealer. So this is the version of their concealer that has a hydrating balm around it, like a clear hydrating balm. I mean, it's a little messy at the moment, but you get the gist. And again, I'm not actually gonna use many brushes or, or beauty blenders for this kind of thing. Recently, I've just been using my fingers, making sure they're clean, and I just find it helps kind of spread everything out so that it looks really natural. So I'm just dabbing and then putting a little bit where I kind of naturally go red. This is in the shade one, by the way, um, the lightest shade. They don't have a huge amount of shades in this one, but they do have a really big range of different types of concealers. This is just the one that I find works best. And I also just use a teensy bit under my eyes because I do get a little bit kind of purpley gray under my eyes. And then next, I'm gonna use the Benefit Complexion Rescue Stick. And this is in Birch, so that's 1.5. I use my regular Benefit is, uh, my regular Benefit um, foundation, the powder foundation, which I'm gonna put on on top is fairly light, so number three. And I find Birch 1.5 in this is the perfect match. And I did order this online, so it was a little risky. I ordered it during the pandemic, but it just so happens to work perfectly well with my skin, so I was definitely quite lucky with that. And I don't use this, I find it a bit too heavy as a full-on foundation. So what I tend to do is just use it in areas where I need that little bit more coverage. So kind of a bit like in between a concealer and a foundation stick. So these little sides of my eyes, I know that's a really random area, but I get very veiny there as well as on my eyelids. So I kind of always put a little bit there, but again, I really don't want to put too much because um, I want my makeup to look super natural today, but also um, I don't want it to crease. So you can see it just evens out the areas there without making it look too much like I've worn foundation. And I just quite like it as a base for my actual foundation, because my actual foundation, again, I like it quite light. I feel like your nose is a really difficult area for this kind of thing, because it can look, it can make your whole makeup look cakey very quickly. So I just dab a teensy bit on my nose because my nose always gets red. I've got this random pimple here that just looks like a massive freckle, which I guess is a good thing, but super annoying. And then I ha always have to be really careful around my T-zone because even though it can get quite red and I like covering it up, it gets super dry. So if I put too much foundation on, it will immediately start peeling and looking like my skin is peeling at least, even if it's not. So that's another thing that I always need to be really careful of. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I've been using this, again, since I was a teenager. If you've watched my makeup videos before, you will know I never changed this part of my makeup routine. And I just love this stuff. It clears your face so quickly, and even on days when you're kind of not wearing makeup, I tend to put a little bit of this on, just whatever's left on my makeup brush, because it just refreshes. It's such a fresh look, such a natural look. I love it. And I'm definitely like, I've been talking a lot about what to wear on my wedding day, what kind of makeup to have on my wedding day and stuff. And no question, Bare Minerals. And a mix of the Benefit concealer because I can't live without that either. <laughs> so I know this sounds like a lot of concealer, but one more step I'm gonna do is use the Bare Minerals concealer. So this is the Well Rested powder. Again, I'm just gonna use the littlest amount of this. Just tap it in here. And I've actually got a separate brush for this because I find brushes just make this look a little bit more natural. And this is very much for under your eyes, those sections where you get a little bit kind of tired looking. And I find this just clears the area so much. I've got one brush hair there, but I don't know if you can see it already just clears that area so well. And I bring this down in like a little V just to brighten up my entire eye area, which I think is really important to brightening up your whole face. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my Bronze Goddess Bronzer from Estee Lauder. And this, you can see I've hit pan. I've been using this for ages. And then with one of my Bare Minerals brushes, I'm just gonna 
tap in and I actually use the, the mirror to get rid of any excess powder. And because it's summer and because I've got a little fake tan on my legs and stuff, I'm gonna bronze a little bit more than I usually would. And I very much do that, that three when I'm bronzing, like up here, in under the cheekbone, and then back down on my chin. And I find bronzing my neck quite important at this stage because I often have a little bit of fake tan. I actually use, I'm not gonna put it on now, but I often use this little Saint-Tropez Purity Self Tan for face and chest. I often use this around my, my chest area because I don't like keeping that area so much in the sun so it can look quite pale sometimes. And so I just find bronzing my neck area really helps with kind of connecting those parts of my body. And then I do often use Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but today, just because it's so warm and humid, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I think, again, this comes in two shades, I think, and I've just got the lighter version. And it looks like a white powder. It, it honestly looks quite similar to the Mineral Veil. And um, I just find this a little bit more matte. So I'm gonna use just my old brush for this because I don't want to use too much of it. And then just putting the translucent powder, I kind of use it to blend the bronzer a little. And I use it everywhere also that I've put concealer, just again, to kind of blend everything together. Okay, and then next I'm gonna use blush. So I would usually use the Bobbi Brown Nectar. That's number 11. But today I'm gonna use the Sugar Bomb from Benefit. And that's because, this is a really old one. And that's because this has a little bit of a shine to it. And I honestly can't be bothered going in with highlighter or anything. So, oh no, I've hit pan on this too. Oh well. Yeah, I can't be bothered to wear highlighter today. So this has a little bit of a shine to it and does kind of two birds, one stone. Um, this also has a little peachy undertone to it, which looks really nice and fresh with my complexion. And then I usually start on the apples of my eyes here and then just blend outwards to give my whole face a bit of a flushed look. And then this is a little cheat that I've been doing recently. I'm gonna have to look in the camera to do this. I've just been faking a few freckles. I naturally get freckles, but because I've been trying to stay out of the sun a little and I've had, like, I constantly have sunscreen on, they fade quite a lot. And I love the look of freckles. I think, again, it looks really fresh and like you've been on holiday, which nobody can go on. So I just fake a few. Last, but by no means least, is eyebrows. Again, I'm just going for a natural, quite simple look, not going too over the top, so I'm just gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is my absolute favorite little thing. I've got it in shade two, and what I love about shade two is my mom has very blonde hair, and she, blondie brown, she uses this, and it looks blondie brown just like her hair. I've got much redder, kind of coppery hair and this just makes it look like the shade of my hair. I don't know how, it's like a magic formula, I swear. And again, it just looks super natural. I've got almost the whole collection of Benefit Gimme Brow and I love using these. I find them just so easy and so natural. So the Gimme Brow just picks up on the hairs and tints them a little bit. So it's not too much of a waxy product but I think it just suits my face really well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm being a bit lazy with my eyebrows, so I'm not doing too much. I'm kind of just following their natural shape and making sure they kind of relatively look similar to each other. And I do find the more relaxed you are with putting your eyebrow product on, the more natural it looks, so that works for me. Okay, so next I'm gonna really quickly do a little bit of eyebrow, but I'm gonna do a bit of a cheek, so I'm just gonna use my bronzer for this. So I'm using the Beauty Pie Blending Eyebrow Brush, and I love this one, actually. I think it's super easy to use. And then I'm gonna go across the whole eyelid, but then kind of go over the outer side a little bit more to give it a little bit of depth. 
but as you can see I'm being very rough with this. Um, I'm never very precise with this kind of thing, I probably should be, but hey ho. Okay, and then that's, that's perfect, that's fine. And keeping in, I've got a very peachy brown look going on, so I'm just gonna go in as well with my, my Makeup Revolution eyeliner. It doesn't have a fancy name, and it's just in brown. And what I will do is I'll do a little bit inside my eye. And that just makes, again, my eyes look a little bit more awake. I don't do underneath because it just doesn't look good for me. I don't put mascara on underneath either because it makes me look really tired and like I've been crying. I don't know why that, that look has just never worked for me. And then I'm just gonna very roughly put some eyeliner on the top lid. And I'm not being very precise with this. I kind of like a smudgy look. So I'm doing it just as close to the line as I can, but I haven't even sharpened it. So you can see it's a very blunt tip at the moment. And then I'm just gonna pat it down. Okay, and then we are almost there. I think actually before I put my mascara on, I'm just very quickly gonna use, I've lost the cap to this, but I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Set and Refresh. This has caffeine in it, I think, or something like that. It has caffeine. This has caffeine in it, I think, or something like that. But um, I just find this really works well for setting my makeup. And again, it just gives it a more natural look without making it look shiny. It just sets the makeup. And then I'm going in with Lash Sensational Multiplying Mascara from Maybelline. This is the same mascara I've been using for years and years. Um, I do like the Bare Minerals. Do I have there? No, I don't have it here. But I do like the Bare Minerals um, mascara, the newer one that they've come out with recently. And there are a couple other ones that I like, but I find I'm really picky with mascara and Maybelline just does the trick, it always has. I've been using Maybelline for years. Obviously the Benefit mascaras are really good too, but I have quite like, not massively long lashes, but long enough that if I use the Benefit ones or something, it looks like I've been wearing, it looks like I'm wearing fake eyelashes. And I kind of don't like that look, at least not for every day. So again, this is just preference, but I start just going out like this and try to gently cover all of the lashes. Then I move the brush right and left just to kind of thicken it a little bit. And then I just use the tip of the mascara brush to lengthen it. And then I'll go in a few more times just like this to kind of separate the lashes. And then I am just gonna give that a second to dry and then I'm gonna fix it a little cause I've got a little bit on my lower lashes that again, I was saying I don't really like the look of that. And I've got a little bit on my lids and I find clearing that up just with a Q-tip or something kind of helps helps blend the eyeshadow and the that um, eyeliner that I have on anyway. And then last but not least, Chance. This is the smell of summer. And then just before finishing my eyes, I'm gonna turn on my curling wand. This is the Cloud9, uh, their standard curling wand, I think. I'll link it down below. Again, I got this from Amazon and I absolutely love this. Cloud9, I think is a great brand. I think it's Australian, I'm not sure. Um, and this heats up really quickly. So you just need to hold down the main button and I'll show you, I've turned it on now and within 30 seconds it will be ready to go, not even. And again, as you know, if you watch my other videos, I'm very lazy with curling my hair because I just find I like the kind of slightly wavy look. I honestly quite like my hair the day after it's been curled, that kind of look. So I tend to only curl, like half curl my hair and leave the rest to kind of do its thing. Okay, there you go. In the time that I explained that to you, it's ready to go, but I'm still just gonna leave it there for a sec. So I'm just gonna pull out any of the mascara that's on my lower lashes. And then just very quickly, very lightly go through with a Q-tip to get rid of any of the mascara on my eyelid. There you go. 
easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's kind of my makeup look done. I don't have any lip stuff on, I just have my Burt's Bees. And um, I will probably put a bit of lipstick on for this evening, but I won't put it on, actually maybe I will put it on now while I'm at it. So this is the NARS, I can't remember the name of this because I've used it to death. I think it's got an inappropriate name. It's, oh, Sex Machine, that's what this one's called. Um, and this is their lip pencil. I love these, it looks so natural. This one has a teensy sheen to it. And I think I've said this before, but I don't really like the whole your lips but better saying, but this is your lips but better. I mean, I think especially just for my complexion, it looks like I'm not wearing any lipstick, but I've just got that little bit of extra color on my face, which I find helps a lot. So while I've still got my hair up with this, I'm gonna very quickly start with a little bit of curling action. I do think the most important bits are the front of your face anyway, because um, you know if the back of your hair isn't curled, it's not the end of the world, but if you've got a little bit of a wave towards the front of your face, it really kind of changes your look. I'll speed through this bit. So I'm just gonna leave my hair like this with just a little bit of a wave in it. I'll probably go back in with the curler before I leave. My hair's still a little wet, so um, I don't wanna curl it completely. But yeah, this is kind of my final look. I'm kind of ready to go. I still need to change probably and put on some deodorant. Uh, and then yeah, I'm ready to go. Let me know if you have any comments, but I will link all the products down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.